Morning, y'all. It's another nice day out here at the range, as you can see behind me. Super good weather out here. Supposed to be like 64 degrees. As you can see, I'm out here in short sleeve. Just had a jacket on yesterday. It's supposed to be snow flurries in the morning, so this is the time of year for crazy weather for sure. But as long as the sun cooperates with us and don't get too crazy in and out, we should have some good videos today. Those y'all who make videos, y'all know overcast weather is beautiful for making videos out here. But first up on the agenda, as usual for the range days, is another punch test. I know we're dragging it out, but there's a few more contenders I want to try, and then we're moving on to the Magnum to see if it can embarrass a couple of them Magnum rounds. But got two or three more little LRs I want to try, and one of them is this Federal Auto Match right here. Y'all know we've tried everything from really expensive rounds to cheap bulk stuff and everything in between, so I'm going with another bulk round today. I hadn't tested these. I've had plenty of these. These are something you can pick up at Wally World pretty much all the time right now for 21 bucks for a, a 325 round pack. So um, pretty popular round out there right now i would say so i figure why not give it a shot against a punch now do i really think it's gonna have a chance not really to be honest with you because it's a 40 round solid which is not a bad thing uh but the uh rated velocity on the box is 1200 at the muzzle and that's out of a 24 26 inch barrel i'm sure a, a perfect situation test barrel then of course we put it up against the tried and true federal punch our 29 grain solid defensive ammo um i've talked about this before but the punch has just a little tiny bit longer case than most 22 lrs uh, it's the same exact length as the uh, stinger so basically i consider this a solid stinger now those of you who've watched my channel and seen a bunch of these punch tests y'all know that these tests have pretty much evolved into just can anything out penetrate this punch it has fantastic penetration uh for a personal defense round now you know there's plenty of debates on which wound channel ends up better you know would you rather have expansion or, or what have you but in my opinion like i've talked about a lot of times in a 22 lr you want that penetration if you're going to use it in a personal defense situation so since this is a personal defense round and that's what we're basically testing things against we're using the taurus tx22 with the four inch barrel as normal so uh these punches are basically optimized four handguns shorter barrels like this so this is the perfect tool to use for it but like i said this is the first test of the day both the blocks are freshly remelted completely clear of any track so this ought to be a good looking test so let me get y'all set up and let's get started all right y'all let's see if we can't get us some speeds on these things as usual um, we'll do a five round average on both of these i've done several on the punch so i know i've done a bunch of them already but i'm gonna do a fresh one every single time just because of the change in environmental conditions and all that to make sure it's not having a big effect on the chrono reading so i'm gonna do a five round average on them. we're gonna start out with the federal punch normally we see about 1200 average out of these so and they've stayed pretty consistent so i'm expecting about the same so let's see what we get y'all 1229 1263 1247 1235 and 1227 let's check that average out all right so the five round average on those punch as usual is 1240 feet per second like i say very consistent round out of this taurus tx22 it's been about around that almost every single test so let me get it reset let's check them auto matches all right, let's check out these federal auto matches. I'll be honest with you, if, if these things ain't moving at least over a thousand, we might as well start digging a hole because they DOA. I can just go on to tell you. But let's see what they're doing, y'all. 905. <laughs> 920. 918. 770 and 919 so that definitely ain't looking good at all let's check that average out all right y'all i actually deleted that 770 feet per second shot out of the string uh i believe that was just a weak loaded round because the rest of them were in the 900s and you know with this bulk pack ammo you get some duds here and there for sure so we got rid of that so the four round average on that was 915 feet per second and if you remember the punch it was 1240 so you talking about 325 feet per second faster on this punch that's 30 percent faster basically than that automatic so like i say i, I don't think that automatic stands a chance but we're gonna find out let me get all this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's mismatch jelly time I'm gonna start out with the federal punch um if history repeats itself i'm expecting this punch to go in there about 15 inches tumble somewhere along the line and like i say stop about 15 inches but let's see what happens here
All right, looked like a nice hit. It sure took a right turn. I hope it didn't go out. Let's check it out and see what happened. All right, y'all, that was actually a perfect hit down there. This block can be a little misleading looking at it from the end. It looks like it curves out, but it stayed in there. And I'll be honest with you, I'm already hearing taps playing in my head in the background. That punch showed up for work today, buddy. It went about 17 inches, it looks like. Tumbled around backwards, did its thing. So uh, th this auto match ain't got a chance, y'all, but we're going to see what it does anyway. Here we go. All right, that looked like a good solid hit. Let's go down there, and check them out, and see what we got. All right, y'all, I had to go in the house and find some mustard to put on this crow I'm about to have to eat. Um, y'all are looking at it with your own eyes right here. I'm almost speechless from what I'm seeing right here. Um, the punch on the top, the Federal Auto Match on the bottom. As you can see with your own eyes before I even start talking about it, the, the Federal Auto Match uh, the federal auto match basically outperformed this punch there, there's no there's no way way to sugarcoat it there's no other way to go around it um did it get to exactly more penetration no but it's within an inch i'll measure it here but it's within an inch and the wound channel's better um i, I don't know what to say about this y'all like i say if i wouldn't have, if i wouldn't have fired these rounds myself i would have never believed it if you would have told me this the federal auto match a 21 dollar 325 round bulk pack round um, in my opinion just outperformed an extremely high dollar high-end self-defense round we have been trying and trying and trying putting rounds up against this punch I mean we've tried other bulk pack stuff we've tried a high-end stuff we've tried almost everything and this is the closest I've ever seen not only to, to out penetrating the punch but performance wise like I say in my opinion this round just outperformed the punch is is y'all know I, I'm a big fan of the punch so in and as much as it pains me to say that, this Federal Auto Match, in my opinion, just outperformed this punch. But uh, as y'all can see, punch did fantastic, not taking anything away from it. It did tumble. It's sitting out here backwards again. Uh, nice wound channel, really consistent wound channel throughout the track there. The Auto Match underneath it uh, started out a little skinny as far as wound channel, but then around in here, y'all can just see. I mean, it, it went to town. I don't know if it tumbled and ended up back straight again because it's sitting down here perfectly straight. But great wound channel action action from from about here all the way to here almost where it stops this area here it may have tumbled it may just be the hydraulic action in there i'm not sure but either way like i say in my opinion that's the superior round in this particular test right here now as far as penetration the punch is exactly 18 inches the federal auto match is exactly 17 and an eighth of an inch so almost not quite an inch short of the punch so like i say it technically didn't out penetrate the punch but it's within an inch of it and, it, and it's well within acceptable limits for penetration for self-defense or any other kind of use um like i say i'm absolutely blown away i'm not gonna pull these projectiles right this second i'm gonna do my other tests because neither one of them are deformed neither one of them expanded the punch is sitting backwards the auto match is sitting forward but i'll give you all a quick overhead view and a couple more views of it all right here we are kind of overhead from the other side here like i say on the top there that's the punch on the bottom is the auto match you can see they both started some wound action going on right about in there and I mean, just, just the punch, like I say now, nice wound channel, nice wound area, carries all the way through, and you can see it's sitting down here backwards. The auto match, like I say, started about the same with its wound action. That big old chunk right there, like I say, it could be tumbling, just could, it could be the hydraulic pressures in there, but either way, very nice wound channel, and you can see, carries into the other block and stopped right there, pointing completely forward. All right, y'all, I'm absolutely blown away by what we just saw right here. It, it honestly, I feel like my favorite horse just lost the Kentucky Derby or something, man. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm almost speechless over what I just saw right here. The federal punch has been reigning supreme. You know, there's been debates of, again, about which one overall is better, but as far as penetration and performance with that penetration, in my opinion, the punch has been reigning supreme until this point. And, and of all things to take it down, 
the federal auto match now like i said technically it's still the penetration king it didn't make the penetration it was not quite an inch short um but again in my opinion if i've got to be completely honest if you showed me both of these and said which one would you take in a self-defense situation i'd take that out that federal auto match now this this may just be a one-off kind of thing but y'all know me i'm a one and done kind of guy i take one round and that's it what you see is what you get you know if y'all would like to see me do multiple rounds between this punch and the federal auto match since it was so short let me know down in the comments i can do that um but i, I don't want to just go out and purposely try to make the punch better i try to be honest and fair with what you're seeing right here and y'all seen it i mean i what what can i say there's nothing else i can say besides the punch just got outperformed right here but let me know what y'all's thoughts are down in the comments let me know which one you think was the overall better round here if you still think the punch is better because of that little extra penetration let me know what your thoughts are in the comments i still plan on testing a few more lrs against this punch because now it's got me curious what might be out there that i kind of written off that didn't give it a chance that, that may do just as good as this so i've definitely got a couple more contenders that's going to be on the way but if y'all enjoyed the video as always make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon down below so when i upload these new videos you can get notified and check them out i really appreciate that appreciate all my range gang members who reach down and hit that join button and join up that really does help so i thank y'all very much for that huge thanks to every single one of y'all out there who watches my channel my videos who thumbs up who subscribes to the channel and like i said leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about what you just saw here i got a long day ahead of me out here doing a bunch more jelly tests got some real interesting stuff coming y'all's way so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon